good morning students how are you all hope you all are doing at doing good at home i am also good students very good shall we come back to our lesson the company act here we have studied about the last class about the kinds of preferences isn't it and uh, when the shares can be issued at discount and many kinds of shares we have studied so it including the preferences now let us learn share certificate and share warrant so we have we know the share will be subscribed by the public by paying the application money is it it so after this they will do the allotment the public company whether it is a public company or a private company any company which is limited by shares okay limited liability that is called limited by shares any company either it is private company or private uh, public company must issue a share certificate to the the shareholders okay if the shares are held under dematerialization system that we have learnt in commerce dematerialization means holding of shares in demat account demat account means dematerialization that is electronic accounting system okay so e unless they they hold their shares in the demat account they must have the shareholders must be given a share certificate okay this uh, if the holders uh, uh, holders of the share certificate they, they hold the share certificate then they are called the members of the company they are the members of the company the members are the owners of the company simply we can say they are the shareholders those who hold the share certificate they are the shareholders of the company so here each share certificate must have a distinctive number a different number must be given for each share okay only then we can uh, find out which share is which in which person which shareholder if some number of shares are uh, sold to other person then easily we can identify who is having that particular number of share okay so they have to given a distinctive number to each share then what is uh, mentioned in the share certificate what will be given first of all they will give the company name understand then the date of issue when they issue the date then all the details of the member may be his name okay name of the person who have uh, has the uh, share so their their uh, details may be their uh, address contact number name surname full name everything okay then how many numbers of share he has held number of shares okay shares then their no its nominal value that means the face value then if it is the nominal value how much is paid up that is called paid up value unpaid value we we will call uh, the amount for uh, under uh, four installments first one application at the time of application they pay a certain sum of money then at the time of allotment then either one call or two call or three calls so how much is paid up by in that share okay then its number its definite number or distinctive number that is very important okay when this share certificate must be issued to the uh, holder that means the shareholder within 3 months of its allotment after the allotment within 3 months they have to issue the share certificate to the shareholder okay after once he has given he has uh, given the uh, share certificate he is called the member or owner of the company 
okay then uh, exactly like a share certificate another document is there that is called a share warrant share warrant a slight difference is there between the share certificate and the share warrant share warrant is also a negotiable instrument okay they may ask for ask for one word okay what well, that dash is a sh negotiable instrument share certificate or share warrant here share warrant is a negotiable instrument that we know what is the meaning of a negotiable instrument that means the ownership can be transferred from one person to another that is called negotiable instrument this share warrant is a negotiable instrument because it is issued by only by the public limited company okay but a share certificate is issued by both the public and private but negotiable instrument sorry the share warrant is issued by only by the public limited company against the which share the fully paid shares fully paid shares there we have studied how much is paid up that means the not fully paid up share also or they issue the share certificate once they make the allotment the directors will issue the share certificate that means that uh, shares are not fully paid but share warrant is issued only to the fully paid shares okay here in a company can issue uh, share warrant there is no compulsion that they have to that a company must issue share warrant okay but if a company wishes to issue share warrant they have to get the permission okay they have to they have to get the permission or approval from the central government okay for without the central government's approval a company a public company cannot issue the share warrant and the again that issue must be authorized by the articles authorized in the articles of the company articles of association okay articles of the company okay yes, they have to get the prior approval from the central government and at the same time that the uh, issue of share warrant must be authorized in the articles of association here we have studied the share uh, member uh, member is called the uh, holder of the share certificate but here the share warrant the holder of share warrant is not a member okay but if at all he wants to become a member he can surrender his share warrant okay he can surrender his uh, share warrant and he the company can issue he can apply for the issue of share certificate okay the company will issue the they will cancel the the company will cancel the share warrant instead they will issue the share certificate okay and they will enter his name in the register register of the company register of members okay register of members so if his name is entered in the register of members then he will become the member of the company okay but we have studied that uh, uh, share warrant member of share that holder of share warrant is not a member isn't it but in some exemption is there okay if the articles provide then this share warrant the holder of share warrant uh, can also become the member of the company but it must be authorized in the articles of association okay like this uh, share warrant and uh, share certificate there is another term share and stock 
so you should hear also a slight difference is there we know what is share isn't it it is a share in the share capital of the company and the same definition uh, section 2 subsection 46 of the companies act defines the term share that includes stock because studied isn't it so it includes stock so what is stock it is the fully paid shares nothing okay it is nothing but the fully paid up shares stock exchange only the fully paid up shares can be exchanged there again in the share warrant also we have studied it is a negotiable instrument only public company issues and it is issued only for the fully paid shares in the same some same meaning only for the stock stock is the fully paid up shares both are share only okay but this shares can be converted into stock okay the shares can be converted into stock and the stock can be converted into the shares here one under uh, the, the company act 2013 has given some provisions as per this provision we can change the shares into stock and stock into shares okay provisions of table a okay then article 36 to 39 it has defined the provisions as per these provisions the shares can be converted into stock and at the same time the stock also can be converted into shares but under some conditions they have to pass one ordinary resolution resolution you will learn in the last lesson okay resolution passing at the time of meeting ordinary special resolution and special resolution you will learn okay so uh, by passing an ordinary resolution in the general meeting this meeting also you are going to learn in the same lesson okay in the meeting they will pass many resolutions there that if uh, simple majority that is called ordinary resolution if it is uh, that um, in majority that is called special resolution so the in the meeting they have to they have to accept okay that they must pass your resolution ordinary resolution with regard to change of share into stock or change of stock into share and at the same time for everything the articles of association must also permit to convert the shares into stock okay then the other document we are going to learn is debentures okay debentures debentures so it is related to the borrowing capacity borrowing amount of the company from the public in in simple words okay so it is a loan amount or debt okay it is a debt debt or borrowing why they get debt or borrowing if the share capital or the accumulated profit that is available in the company is not sufficient to run the company then the board of directors or the members will decide to borrow money either from the public or from the bank or from the any financial institutions okay if they uh, they arrange for the uh, borrowing money from the public that is called debentures because at the time of borrowing the amount the company will issue a document for the receipt of amount okay for the receipt of amount the company will issue a document that is called debenture okay for this amount they have to pay a fixed rate of interest okay fixed rate of interest this interest will be payable regularly maybe annually annually it will be payable 
even if the company has any profit if the if even if it does not have any profit if the company incurs any loss uh, even at that time also the debenture holders are entitled to receive their interest fixed percentage of interest and sometimes if the debenture amount is a large amount what they can do they can mortgage or they can give a charge charge on the asset or as a mortgage they can give or secure security okay charge on the assets of the company either movable asset or in immovable assets they can give as the charge it the because that is the security for the uh, person who has uh, paid for the company thus lend money to the company okay the debenture holders are the lenders of the money and at the same time the the borrowers are whom the company is the borrower okay so they can charge their any asset as the evidence okay that means that we can say they are if they have given any charge they are called the secured debt secured debt a secured debentures then some um, that debenture amount will not be secured they may not be given any asset as the charge against that amount okay they are called unsecured debentures unsecured debentures only the amount will be repayable well, what is the difference between secured debentures and unsecured debentures the secured debentures are having a charge against the asset of the company so if the company fails to pay the amount that they have given to the company then the debenture holders have the right to take over the charge of that asset okay so he has the right to sell the asset and he can recover the amount that he has paid to the company okay that is secured debentures but the unsecured debentures do not have any right on the asset of the company if the deben but the debenture holders will be paid but if the company has not paid the amount he cannot uh, they do not have any security okay now the some of the features we will learn features of the debentures main features are the characteristics of the debentures okay debentures we know it is issued by the company okay debentures are issued by the company it is like a certificate it will be issued by the company it is like a certificate and with common seal okay with the seal seal of the company will be there okay with the common seal and we can say this debenture is a movable property it is a movable property and we can say the debenture holders are the creditors of the company okay because they they need to pay back the amount that they have given to the company so like the purchase what the credit purchases okay they have now they have got the Uh, money from them so they have to repay so until then those debenture holders are the creditors to the company okay then they, they have a fixed rate of interest they carry a fixed rate of interest and this debenture holders this debentures will be redeemed after a fixed period of time okay after a fixed period of time it will be redeemed that means they will be repaid after a fixed period of time then we have learned the debentures may be either secured or unsecured debentures okay then the interest that they pay 
is chargeable against the profit. That means before the calculating the profit, they have to calculate the interest on debentures. Chargeable charge against the profit. Okay, and this debenture holders do not have any voting rights. Okay, only the shareholders, the holders of the share certificate, they have the right to vote. But these debenture holders do not have any voting rights. Okay, then if even if there is a loss, the interest will be paid to the debenture holders. Okay, even if there is no profit also, the interest must be paid to the debenture holders. Next heading, kinds of debentures. Debentures can be classified under various basis. Okay, on different basis they are classified. The first basis is on the basis of convertibility, conversion whether they can be converted into shares or what. Okay. So, on the basis of the convertibility, the debentures are classified into four categories. Okay. The first one, non-convertible debentures. Okay. Non-convertible debentures. What is the meaning? These debentures cannot be converted into shares into equity shares. They remain debentures forever. Okay. They cannot be converted into shares, ordinary shares. Okay. Then next hat category, partly, partly convertible debenture, debentures. Partly convertible debentures. Here, a part of this debentures can be converted into equity shares, okay, in the future period. So, this can be converted after giving a notice, okay, notice to the holder, okay. So, if they, after giving a notice, this debentures can be converted into shares, equity shares, but partly. That part, that means the ratio of conversion, maybe um, of how much percentage can be converted at what time, okay. That and all will be um, decided at the time of subscription. At the time of subscription, when they subscribe, when they issue the debentures, no, at the time of uh, issue time itself, they will decide, okay, at what time they can convert these uh, debentures into shares, okay. So, the third category is fully convertible debentures. So, here partly it will be convertible and the other part it cannot be convertible, okay. But here they will be fully convertible into equity shares. But here also they have to uh, convert it after the issuer's notice. Okay. And the ratio also will be decided by the issuer of the one who issue the debentures. And this also will be uh, decided at the time of subscription. Okay, once they are convertible, converted into uh, uh, that uh, equity share, then they will become the members of the company. Okay, members of the company. Then the last variety is optionally convertible debentures. Option, we you know, uh, willingness, isn't it? Optionally convertible debentures. Here, who has the option? The investor or the debenture holder. Okay. So, his uh, willingness, at, at his option, he can convert his debenture into 
shares. Okay. But everything will be decided because everything will be decided at the time of issue of debentures. That means at the time of subscription. Okay. The shares, the debentures can be convertible into fully paid shares, equity shares. Okay. Debentures can be converted into shares. This first one, it cannot be convertible, but it is, second one is partly convertible and after the, the issue of a notice by the issuer and the ratio of conversion will also be uh, agreed at the time of subscription. Okay, then fully convertible shares, debentures, this fully convertible debentures also will be done after the issuer's notice and once the debentures are converted into shares, then the debenger, that debenger holders will become the members because they are converted into equity shares. Then optionally convertible debentures. So it is optional, optional of the uh, investor. If he, uh, he wishes to convert his shares, into, his debentures into shares, he can do, but that is also decided by the issuer okay or at the time of issue it will be agreed upon okay that the first one on the basis of convertibility next coin is on the basis of security here this debungers i have explained to you secured debungers and unsecured debungers Okay, the first one is secured debentures. Secured debentures, they have the uh, charge on the fixed assets of the company. Okay, they, they have a charge on the fixed assets of the company. If the company is not able to pay back the amount of debentures, secured debentures, the secured debenture holders have the right to sell these fixed assets and they can recover their amount. Okay. They, they can collect their amount. But the second variety is unsecured creditors, just opposite of the secured debentures. Okay. Here, this say, unsecured debentures do not have any charge on any assets of the company. So, they do not uh, have any right over the assets of the company. So, they are considered as the unsecured creditors. Okay, unsecured, like the unsecured creditors, only they have the right to get back their amount, but they do not have any right over the fixed assets or current asset or any type of assets of the company. Okay, that's the second kind on the basis of security. Third, third kind is on the basis of redeemability. On the basis of redeemability, the debungers are divided into two, redeemable debungers and irredeemable debungers. We know the meaning, redemption, isn't it? Redeemable debungers. These debungers can be, that means the debungers will be redeemed, that means they will be paid back. Okay, that is called the redemption meaning. It will be paid back after a fixed date fixed period of time okay it will be redeemed it will be paid back so either they will be cancelled or they will be reissued okay so after a fixed uh, period of time these debentures will be cancelled they must be paid back okay so they are called the redeemable debentures then next one is irredeemable debentures are perpetual debentures. This debentures cannot uh, can be repaid or it cannot be repaid until the winding up of the company. Okay, as long as the company is a going concern, no one can question its redemption. Okay, 
but it will be debunchers till the end of the life lifetime of the company but at the time of winding up of the company these debunchers will be redeemed winding up means at the end of the company closing of the company okay but this one is not available okay no more in the companies act 2013 so this type of debentures should not be issued by a company okay as per the companies act 2013 only the redeemable debentures must be issued because with the, after a fixed period of time these debentures will be redeemed they will be paid back okay so perpetual uh, debentures or irredeemable debentures are not allowed cannot be issued by any company as per the companies act 2000 13 okay then the last variety is on the basis of registration on the basis of registration the debentures may be classified as the registered debentures okay registered debentures here the debentures which are issued and one under one person name only isn't it so this person's name will be entered in the register of debentures if the name of the person one who has the debenture is registered in the register of debentures register of debenture then he is he is having the registered debentures okay then that bearer debentures opposite of the registered debentures are the bearer debentures their name may not be entered in the register of debenture holders they are the uh, just bearer debentures here we can call them as the negotiable instrument okay negotiable instrument because they their ownership can be transferred from one person to another person just transferring the document transferring the register that debenture okay if they uh, transfer the share uh, debenture certificate to someone else then he can become the debenture holder okay so by just transfer of the certificate or share warrant okay they can transfer the ownership of the debenture okay so we have studied all the kinds then one more heading given the debentures and the shares now with that if you read you will understand okay we have studied everything about debentures and everything about shares now i will mark down the question answers the company will have to issue the notice of situation of registered office to the registrar of companies within 30 days from the date of incorporation c okay how does a person who envisages the idea to form a company called promoter for which type of capital a company pays the prescribed fees at the time of registration authorized capital which of the following types of shares are issued by a company to raise capital from the existing shareholders right shares specify the type of resolution to be passed choose the location of registered office of the company within the town or village or city it is um maybe c okay either ordinary or special we will we'll see this one later who can issue stock a public company specify the document which comes under the negotiable instruments act share warrant shares which are offered to the existing shareholder at free of cost bonus share shares which are offered first to the existing shareholder at a reduced price right share the companies act 2013 prohibits the issue of shares at discount okay who is called promoter 261 
here promoter okay promoter one the person who envisages the idea is called a promoter then section 269 defines the term promoter promoter means you can write like this whose name is entered in the prospectus okay that's all then who has control over the affairs of the company these two points also will enough what is share 265 This one. What is share? This paragraph. Okay. To so have equal denomination. Then this one. This also you can write fully. Okay. First line and this one. Definition. What do you mean by equity share? Two sixty five. Same same page. First point. Those shares which are not called as preference shares are known as equity shares. then the share of a company which do not have any preferential right with regard to dividend and repayment of share capital at the time of liquidation of a company is called as ordinary share you write there ordinary cut ordinary and write there equity share okay these two points what do you understand by preferences 265 This one fully okay. Section forty two. This paragraph meaning of preference share. What is the equity share? Two sixty six. Two sixty six. What equity share? Okay, this paragraph. What is bonus share? Two sixty six. This one fully read. You will understand. Okay. Then what is right share? Next page. Two sixty seven. This one small paragraph. Okay, right share. Private placement, same page, previous heading. Okay, private placement. Define share warrant two sixty seven. Share warrant. Share warrant here. First line, then second point, third point. Okay. What is debenture? Next page, two sixty eight. Two sixty eight. Here, from here till here. Okay, one paragraph. Then three mark question. Three mark question. Distinguish share and stock. Okay, for this one, if you get the guide. Refer page number two forty seven. Okay, two forty seven. Otherwise, in two seventy three. See, share and stock. Okay, just. I think it may not be very clear. Okay. The capital of a company is divided into small units, which are commonly known as shares. Here, stock. The conversion of the fully paid-up shares of a member into a single fund is called a stock. Is it possible for a company to make original issue? Here, yes, it is no. Paid-up value. Shares can be partly or fully paid up. A stock can only be fully paid up. Fourth point: definition, definite number. A share has a definite number known as distinctive number. A stock does not have such number. Then fractional transfer. It is not possible, but it is possible. Nominal value. 
here we, they have nominal value they do not have any nominal value denomination it is in equal amounts stock may be unequal amounts okay then what do you understand by issue of securities at premium to 66 here first point up to premium then second point the amount of share premium up to here then this account is capital in nature so up to here okay if you are willing you can write this either one two three points also Issue of share set discount. What condition should be fulfilled? Same page, 266. This full paragraph. Okay, issue of security set to discount. Then fourth one. The condition stipulated for capital subscription at the time of promotion. Page number 264. This capital subscription third stage. Can you see this heading fully? Okay, up to here. Then, different kinds of preferences. Next page, 265. Kinds of preferences. Okay, fully. Up to next page. Non-participating preferences. Then, long answer. Difference between debentures and share. Debentures and share. 271. Then, different stages in the formation of a company, 261. Formation of a company, okay. Then, kinds of debentures, you mark. The formalities full, need to be fulfilled, having share capital to commence the business. Four stages, page number 264. Then, difference between share certificate and share warrant. Okay. Here, you can take this one. Share certificate, 5 points. Share warrant, 5 points. Okay. Just hold this one and you can write and take. Okay, students. This, this page and this page. Thank you students very much.